It's that time of year where more fresh produce is hitting store shelves, but do you know how to stretch your family dollar by stretching the life of your fruits and veggies? No. <laughs> That's it's the easy rotting. answer. I always go to the store and then it seems to spoil before we yep. can eat it. Consumer reporter Steve Noviello has some tips. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you guys. You know, it's one of my biggest pet peeves in our house. You take the yeah. time and the energy and the expense to go out and buy fresh fruits and vegetables. And what happens? You don't get to enjoy them because they've already spoiled. We've got some quick life hacks this morning that are going to extend the shelf life of your fresh okay. produce. Starting with this right here when it comes to bananas. Now, when it comes to this kind of fruit, you are one of two kinds of families. You're either the family that cannot keep these in stock or you're the kind of family that watches them go brown and then you you know continue to buy them. So a couple of things you're going to do. First up, if you need to prolong the life of your bananas, you can wrap the crowns of them in plastic. Here's what happens. Oh. Bananas actually re release more ethylene gas than any other kind of produce and it's that gas that actually not only spoils them but spoils anything else that's near them. So even if you're the kind of home where where you actually consume them quickly, you want to make sure that you store them on the counter away from any other fruits and veggies uh -huh. so that when that gas is given off, it doesn't then contaminate what may be sitting adjacent to them on your kitchen counter. Okay. All right, That's next good. up, onions. People go out and they buy them and they think, okay, I'll have them when I need them, right? And what happens? You put them in a drawer or in a bowl somewhere, and then when it comes time to make that soup or to dice them up for an omelet or whatever it else it is, you go and find them, and they're mushy and they're soft because they've gone bad. Yeah. Well, you can extend the shelf life with an old pair of pantyhose. <laughs> Check this what? out. You take one, you I've drop it into the it. foot, you tie a knot, you drop the next, and you work your way all the way up Clean the leg. Us. Here's what happens, allowing the air to circulate around them, because you do have to hang this somewhere, maybe in the garage or somewhere out of sight in the pantry, <laughs> but allowing the air to circulate around them will actually increase their shelf life dramatically. And when it comes time to use one, you just snip off the bottom and pop it out and you're good to go. Next up, let's talk about strawberries, right? Strawberries, blackberries, raspberries. Delicious this time of year, a little on the expensive side, and there's nothing worse than them going bad. In my house, we like to freeze them when that starts to happen, use them for smoothies later on, but I also love to enjoy them fresh. So instead of just rinsing them in water when you get them home, rinse them in a solution of 10 parts distilled white vinegar, oh, sorry, one part distilled white vinegar, 10 parts water, and it will actually increase their shelf life by up to a week and a half. And of course, because there's so little vinegar in that solution, you won't really taste any sort of difference, but they will stay fresher longer. When it comes to those plastic bags that you get at the grocery store that the produce comes in, mm -hmm. take a look and you can see here they are a breeding ground for moisture, which is not a great idea for fresh, fresh fruits and veggies. So what you want to do is either poke some holes in here or store your stuff out of the bag. And also it's very important to remember exactly what likes moisture and what doesn't. For example, while you might, may buy loose mushrooms at the store in a plastic bag, you want to take them out immediately when you get them home because that moisture will encourage the growth of mildew and mold, which of course mushrooms do not like. They're best stored either on the counter or in a brown bag. And finally for you, take a look at this. This is one of the biggest mistakes that people make in their homes and we have made it in our house for years. They store the milk on the door of the refrigerator because we yeah. think that's where it's supposed to go, right? Well, it here's fits. the problem with that. It fits, right? This is yeah. even a spot for it. The door of the refrigerator has the least consistent temperature uh. control because you're constantly opening and closing. And what happens? That's where the heat gets to first. So that means you can't keep the temperature of your milk consistent, especially if you have little kids who like to stand there with the fridge yes. door open and see what you've got in stock, right? Or adults. Right, or adults. <laughs> so instead, <laughs> you take it and you dinner. store it on an interior shelf where it will be cool more consistently yeah. and will last much longer. You can share your life hacks to prolong the life of your produce right now on my Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash save me Steve. There is a link right now on our station website, fox4news.com. That was excellent. I will try all of those. Steve, thank you. Everyone.